Hey guys, Captain Foley here, and it's time to do a first reaction video to the Season 2 trailer for Star Trek Discovery that was just released at San Diego Comic Con. <sighs> Due to copyright issues and all that blah, I'm going to watch it on my phone and react as it goes on so that you guys can follow along with me, if you will. Um, but here we go. Always look to the stars. And no stars that they show, which is nice. So we get a nice shot of the Discovery in warp, uh, which is cool. It's nice to see some shots of the ships. Uh, that's one of our biggest complaints that we had with season one. We didn't see enough of the ships, we didn't see enough space shots. Seeing the ship at warp is kind of cool. I'm not super fi uh, happy with the new warp effect. Uh, I prefer the classic, you know, streaking stars that we see in TNG. Uh, this whole warp effect with the blue around it, it's too JJ-esque, um, or hyperdrive, it's too Star Wars. So, I uh, don't really like that effect, but I mean, I'm just going to point out the, what I like and don't like about this, so, I mean, that's the point, right? And this weird alien thing with, like, the spider appendages coming out of it, very strange. So Captain Christopher Pike requests permission to come aboard. It's pretty much the exact same scene where they left off in season two, or season one, sorry. So I have the distinct impression we're not going to see the bridge of the Enterprise because they they know if they show it, they're going to screw it up and they're going to piss people off. So right away, not super pleased about that. The next scene is them transporting in. Now we could see Christopher Pike on the, mon on the screen and see the bridge behind him. I don't know, I doubt it, by the way that was put together, and the lack of ship communications that we've seen in Season 1. So, then there's the beaming effect. Again, very JJ-esque, which I don't like. This is not the JJ-verse. Um, in my opinion, it's not Prime-verse either. It's not the Prime timeline. I've kind of labeled it Disco-verse, and that's what I'm going to pretend it is, because if it's its own universe, it's fantastically well done. I'll be it with for, for a few things, but it's definitely not prime in my opinion. But anyway, they say it's prime, so it's prime. So the the transporter effect's a little off for me. Well, Commander, this is awkward, but the best way to get into a cold stream is to jump right in. Okay, so the new uniforms. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen the cage, seen Christopher Pike, but there's no black collar. There's just it's a red, it's a, a yellow. Uh, sweater basically with like a sweater top but here we've got the discovery style with the offset asymmetrical collar which just looks dumb in my opinion I mean it does look very TOS it does look very much like Kirk's you know it's got the, the braids on it it's got the right color so it's a step in the right direction but for the time it shouldn't have the black collar so again I'm here to take command of the discovery under regulation so it's taking command of the Discovery. Section C. Great shot of the Enterprise in front of the Discovery. Again, I'm happy with the external ship shots. That's where the, the budget should have went with Season 1. I think a lot of the budget went to getting Chris Isaacs as Lorca. Because it wasn't in the special effects budget, really. In, in our opinion, here on Trek Yards. Uh, Samuel and myself pointed that out numerous times. But... Uh, yeah, it's good to see the Enterprise, um, the Discovery version Enterprise, and the, the Discovery, uh, it's fantastic. It Federation sensors picked up so seven Federation radar. sensors picked up, and it looks like from the bottom of the um, saucer section of the Discovery are these like balls that drop down and then rotate, so some kind of sensor system, that's kind of neat. Spread out across more than 30,000 light years. Now there's these red anomalies that are spread out across 30,000 light years. Um, I hope it's not red matter. I hope it's not something that, again, ties it into JJ-verse. <sighs> but we'll see. The next shot is on the bridge. Again, you got a fantastic little view of the Enterprise through the window. And, of course, overlaid on top of that is this weird anomaly. Um, <clears throat> again, it's the window view screen thing. Meh. These mysterious signals are beyond anything we understand. Is it a greeting? A declaration of malice. Let's find out. Aye, sir. No, again, 
Another great shot of the Enterprise. You see the top of the Enterprise saucer and the Discovery down here, and then the Discovery goes to warp. Not spore drive out, warping out, which is cool. Um, I, do, I don't mind the fact that when they go from a standstill to warp, that there's that effect. So there should be an effect when you do that. But then the in-warp effect, I think, should just be the, the classic star feel, which would be much nicer, in my opinion. But what's with the music? Got these odd, weird little ships flying through asteroids. Discovery has you right, ladies, and you see the ladies freaking out. And then Saru is like, oh dear. Um, it just seems... I don't want to say SJW, um, because I hate that term, but, again, <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> I just don't know what to say. I, I just don't know what to say. So again, more of these weird fightery type ships. The power of math, people. We got Tilly. Then we got another great shot of the Enterprise. Uh, you see the strut of the Enterprise and the Discovery and a little work bee coming towards the Enterprise. So who knows what's going on there. I'm looking forward to all these ship shots, though. I mean, I love the, the starship porn, as we call it. Um, give me more of that. That's awesome. And of course, Spock is on leave, so we're not going to see Spock right away. Um, I'm wondering how long this story arc is with the Enterprise, whether it's like two, three episodes, whether it's half half of the season. I don't know what it is. It's probably the first three episodes is my guess. And I think we'll see Spock at the end, of course, um, because he's somehow linked to these red mysterious things, and Burnham has to save him. Um, so... Yeah. Again, there's the, the fighter getting launched with Burnham in it. I don't know where it's... It looks like it's launched almost out of the Discovery because you see her in the launch tube and just then you see her uh, with the seat behind her. And the next shot is like the Discovery's nacelles and, you know, you're being projected through the nacelles. So it's, it's almost like they're being launched from Discovery, which is weird. Now, there is... On the back of the Enterprise, there is that round portal between the two impulse engines which we're pretty sure is an airlock. We're almost 100% sure that's an airlock, but maybe it's what's launching these fighters. Maybe the Enterprise is launching these weird fighters out of that launch tube. I don't know. Pulsar, oh, they're all late. Thought we were all gonna die. Wherever our mission takes us. I'm trying to have a little fun along. So we got these tunnels that are going down with these little floating, like, uh, spotlight drones and the uniforms, the away mission uniforms, the EVA, the EVA suits look very reminiscent of the TOS ones, uh, the, the white material. Um, not exactly the same, mind you, but they have that feel. So, I mean, they're trying to get the feel for season two right. Um, they've got a lot to make up for, I think, mistake wise, that they just can't fix. But I think they're definitely like. You know, trying to give us some, us fans some, you know, nods here and there. And I think they're doing a fairly good job. Like I said, if this was the Discoverse, if it was his own universe, separate from the JJ and the Prime, I'd be so on board with most of these changes. I'd be like, that's awesome, that's awesome, that's awesome. But to say it's Prime and shoehorn it in, I don't know. So let's ruffle some feathers. I look forward to it. When Pike says that, he's wearing a Discovery uniform. So how long is he going to be the captain of Discovery? Why did he switch to a Discovery-style uniform? That bugs me a little bit. The shot with Burnham with the Enterprise behind her out the window. Again, fantastic. It's reminiscent of what we saw in Trials or yeah, Trials and Tribble. No, The Trouble with Tribbles. The original TOS episode, The Trouble with Tribbles, um, where they're on the Starbase or K-7 and you can see the Enterprise out the window. Uh, very cool. Explosions, fighters. Pike saying hit it, <laughs> which is cool. You know, because then JJ said punch it, which I like. Um, and that's it. Star Trek Discovery. And then the, the scene with the Sarian. Excuse where me. He's sick, and this is a crude attempt at humor. 
And then he sneezes on the guy. Bless you. So that last little bit of humor thrown in there. First of all, this season one was way too dark, so we need more humor. But that seemed very cheap and very lowbrow humor, and it almost had that trying to be the Orville feel to it to me. So overall, I'm excited about seeing season two, seeing how they change things, what they do, what they fix, what they try to fix, what they do fix, what they attempt to fix, you know, all that. We're going to have discussions about all that. Samuel and myself are going to, of course, review this trailer together, break it down, show you some scenes from it or pictures, and we're going to talk about it together. Um, he's already done his first reaction review, which I have not watched yet, so this is my first reaction view, and we're going to upload this and uh, see what you guys think, and then stay tuned in the next day or two for our uh, reaction that we do together. So, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this. There's going to be a lot more from San Diego Comic Con this weekend. Samuel and myself are going to be working overtime to bring you all the news that we find out um, from Discovery and everything else. Uh, we're going to cover that and hopefully, hopefully, bring you guys some amazing content that uh, you'll really appreciate. Whether you like Discovery or you hate Discovery, this is the place to be, Trek Yards, because we look at the good, we look at the bad, and we point it all out. We don't pull any punches, we tell exactly how we see it, and there is some good, and there's a lot of bad, but it's worth looking at in an objective, objective reasonable, responsible way, and I think that's what we do. So hopefully you guys appreciate that. So until next time, guys, I'll see you soon. It's Captain Foley saying, live long and prosper. Bye, guys.